Hey guys, it's Mint Julep. Today I'm going to come to y'all with a video on Fire DPS and just a general loadout guide uh, for it. Um, the last time I actually made a Fire DPS loadout uh, guide was during Weapon Mastery. I didn't make one during Advanced Mechanics because every all loadouts were the same, so there's really no point because everybody else had made a video. It was kind of redundant. Um, so um, here's my loadout for my hybrid DPS. I actually use two. I use hybrid and play from the tray um, because I actually have the gear to do it on this tune. So uh, my loadout is Inferno. Fiery weapon is the weapon buff. Uh, Inferno is a dot and it sets up burning. Meteor strike is a supercharged generator. Detonate is the spammer. And then fireball barrage and robot sidekick. Um, I don't use Fireball Barrage, or excuse me, I, I use Fireball Barrage instead of uh, Volcanic Calamity because um, Volcanic Calamity is a one-time, it's a 100%, it's, you know, does a hit and does some dots afterwards, and again, it's 100%, so I can only use it maybe twice, maybe three times during a raid, um, even with Supercharged Generator, last time I checked. Um, so I use Fireball Barrage. Um, it hits almost just as hard. It's um, it hits almost just as hard, but I can use it a lot more often because it's a fifty percenter. Um, but the pitfall of this supercharge is you have to be uh, up close to use it. I would say probably um, anywhere from ten to uh, ten to seven meters in, which is the um, melee range. What the developers call the melee range. Um, or what they used to with the uh, distance, da with the damage scaling that AMs brought, but um, I'm still going to call it melee because, you know, I've called it that way for so long. Anyway, um, my general rotation is Inferno, Clip the Fiery Weapon, and then I do a weapon, weapon attack. I use Solar Flame. Uh, you can use any basic weapon attack. I don't recommend Weapon Mastery because, yeah, it does a little bit more damage, but you only get power regen off of the basic weapon attacks. You do not get them off of the weapon mastery hits. Um, I don't know why they did it that way, but that's just the way it ended up coming out. So, um, then I use a solar flame meteor strike, and then I use a solar flame detonate until either meteor strike comes off cooldown or inferno fire weapon. Uh, you can use Fireball too, but I don't use Fireball because it's only a single target hit. Um, and again, it's only a single target hit, um, so I don't use Fireball. I use Detonate instead, and Detonate seems to do a little bit more damage. One, because it's AoE, but even against single targets. I've, I've, I've seen bigger hits out of Detonate over, um, over Fireball. But as the spammer, you really only want to use um, a, two, uh, a 100 power cost, quick cooldown, you can use a lot more often, and it uses less power, so it's less stressful on the trolls. Um, my gear is modded Might Power for my hybrid. My gear is modded Might Power um, and Precision Power in the yellows. Um, I'm on Prec Might in the reds, and then I mod Might Health and Prec Health and the blues, and I balance it between might and prick in the mix sockets because um, your hybrid is a combination of both powers and weapons, so I balance it out that way, so I'm maximizing both. My play from the tray modding is uh, very different. Um, so when you're doing play from the tray, your, um, your power gen is going to be coming the, the more power you, the bigger your power pool is, the more power regen you're going to have. So the more the bigger your power pool, the more efficient you are with your power. So I actually, um, let me go back to my mod. Um, I mod might power in the yellows and the and the reds. Um, a lot of people question why I do that, and again, the more power I have, the more power efficient I am. 
Um, and you also get a weapon buff off the troll um, the more power efficient you are. So that weapon buff um, ends up making up for the damage. Um, I use reserve tank. Um, you could also use uh, the chest mod that came out of the Amazon tactical mod capsules. Um, I believe it's called power efficiency. Um, that actually makes your supercharges or your superpowers use 5% less power. The reason why I don't have that uh, mod, I have reserve tank instead, is because I'm not willing to spend 30 million on a chest mod. Um, that's insane. That's insanity to me. But um, other people may have the money and may want to do it. So if you have the money and you or you have the mod, I would use power efficiency instead of reserve tank because um, it'll benefit you a lot more. Um, I again, you just use power. I I just use reserve tank because again, I'm not willing to spend the money on. Uh, this loadout with a uh, snuff out, it is only for alerts. I only use it for alerts. I do not use it for raids. Um, Infernos for the dot. Uh, Stoke flames. I use it mainly to clip with, but it also sets up a separate dot. Um, I use fire burst, flame cascade, and. Um, snuff out again. I, you only get the biggest benefit out of it when the bosses are thirty. When the whatever you're hitting with it is thirty-five percent health or below. Um, and again, it is really only recommended that you have two, three hundred power costs in your loadout. I have actually, I have a four hundred also, but that's because fire burst hits like a truck. Um, and it hits really hard, and the damage when it actually hits is really worth it. But what you want to be careful with Fire Burst is it is very interruptible. If you get CC'd in any sort of way, you are losing a lot of damage. So, say if you get CC'd and then you uh, hit Shift, or um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what the PlayStation equivalent is, or the Xbox equivalent is, but if you break out, um, you actually get a... Um, you get a CC immunity, and that's when you want to use Fire Burst. Uh, if you have a CC trinket, or not a CC trinket, if you have a uh, breakout trinket, um, you can use Fire Burst after that too. Um, it is actually really, uh, like I said, Fire Burst hits like a truck, and um, yeah. You can use, also instead of Flame Cascade, you can use Detonate, but the reason why I don't use Detonate is because um, it's not as mobile. When you use it, you are actually rooted to the ground while you are casting it. Um, I am not with Flame Cascade, so that's why I use that. But it's actually a very simple uh, rotation. Farno, uh, clip with Stoke Flames, Fire Burst, Flame Cascade, Flame Cascade, until Fire Burst comes off cooldown. I use that, and just rinse and repeat. Um, when I'm doing raids, uh, my loadout is very different. Instead of using uh, Snuff Out, I use Robot Sidekick. Robot Sidekick is constant damage. Um, and even though when you have Robot Sidekick out, uh, it hurts your power, uh, passive power regeneration, um, the trolls can make that up. So that's why I use that. Um, so if I don't have a Robot Sidekick already out, I do Inferno. Clip with Robot Sidekick, clip with uh, Stoke, uh, Stoke Flames, and then Fire Burst, Flame Cascade, Flame Cascade, like before. And then Fire Burst comes off cooldown, use Fire Burst, Flame Cascade. Very simple. Um, and then I have one last loadout to share. Um, I only use this loadout when I do not have, um, when I have two trolls, which is very rare uh, nowadays. Or if I have one really good troll, um, I use, I will use Wildfire instead of Robot Sidekick. And Wildfire hits really hard, um, especially when uh, ads are burning. And um, but the reason why I don't use it, um, don't use this power often, is because it's a 300. So that brings my grand total of uh, 300 power cost abilities to three, and that's extremely power hungry uh, if you combine all that with the Fire Burst. Um, and I have gameplay footage coming up, if y'all want to stay for that, there's gameplay footage of me doing an Olympus, 
and um, as you will see when I use uh, wildfire it is ex extremely power hungry and my power bar never stays above 50% um, which is why I don't like doing that because it stresses out the troll the trolls busy keeping you up and then the troll starts you know then everybody starts running out of power if you have one person or two two DPS that are just extremely power hungry so I very rarely use this but it's an option out there if you have really good power and whatnot. So I use Inferno, clip the Stoke Flames, Fire Burst. As soon as that's done, I clip the Dovetail with Wildfire, Flame Cascade, Fire Burst, Wildfire, Flame Cascade, Flame Cascade. Inferno and Stoke Flames are off the cooldown. Rinse and repeat. And that is my last loadout I have to share. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you like it, please like the video. Um, uh, and please stay um, stay till the end because I do have some gameplay footage of me coming, uh, me doing an Olympus. So, um, and you'll see how I rotate the uh, loadouts, um, rotate the loadouts with the troll because um, I can't rotate them. For a long term in here because the sparring targets power generation is just really awful so again if y'all like the video um please put a like in there and have a good day
is all